Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another scripting tutorial and today I will be teaching you how to make a sprint script. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is insert a local script into starter character scripts. Then you want to type in the following code. So first you want to get the user input service. So local user input service equals game get service user input service. Then you want to get the local player, local player equals game.players.local player. Then you want to get the character, character. Now you can do player.character or player.character added weight. Then you also want to get the humanoid. You do character, wait for child, humanoid. Then you want to access an event from the user input service. You want to input began. So user input service dot input, be input began. Next function. Input game process. Then you want to check the key code. So input dot key code equals enum.keycode. Now since we're doing it so that you want it to shift to run, you do dot left shift. Then, then you want to increase the walk speed when they press the shift button. So humanoid.walk speed equals let's say 30. And then the last thing we want to do is to make them stop sprinting when they let go of the shift button. So user input service dot input ended connect function input game process. So, so when the input ends, you want to check if they let go of the shift button. And if it is, then you want to reset their walk speed. Now the default walk speed is 16, so we'll set it to that. And that's the full code, let's test it. All right, so I'm not pressing the shift button, so we're walking at regular speed, but let's see what happens once I press it. As you can see, I'm way faster than before. Now when I let go of the shift button, I should slow down again. So letting go in three, two, one. And we're back to regular speed. And that's how you make a shift to sprint script. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.